awesome to see you. I'm Betty Rocker. It's time for a little Motivational Mondays. And today what I'm uh, really seeing, I'm actually, I was just sitting here checking my um, posts and reading emails from you guys. And one of the really um, interesting things that comes up over and over that I see a lot is, uh, is this kind of uh, quality of going to the extreme. And today I just wanted to invite you to see where in your own life you may be taking things to the extreme. Uh, I've, I myself used to be uh, quite the extremist and I really feel like sometimes in life we have to experiment to find where it is that we can truly be in balance. And this is always a practice, right, of going to one extreme maybe and then going to another extreme just to find what our middle ground is. And the middle ground can shift and change. but. If you find yourself thinking, if I don't work out six days a week, uh, I'm not going to lose weight or I'm not going to be healthy. Um, that's a kind of extreme that you really want to watch out for and guard yourself against. If you find yourself thinking, I have to do two workouts a day or three workouts today to make up for what I did yesterday, uh, that's something you want to watch out for. Um, one of the things that is really interesting is how we take it to the extreme in a lot of different arenas, right? So maybe you are taking it a little bit to the extreme, um, not with workouts, but with eating, right? So you are kind of going um, really excessive for a period of time or just kind of um, going a little nuts on uh, being super, super strict on yourself with eating. Are you thinking that you have to count every single calorie or track every bite of food that you eat? Um, are you feeling like if you don't uh, uh, eat perfectly clean every single day that, they're, that you're doing something wrong? I just, I want you to really look at where um, maybe you are going to certain extremes in your life and and just think about that because it's really those extreme places that can harm us um, over a long period of time. Uh, it's, it's, it's what will always end up causing you to rebel at a certain point. Like your mind will rebel when you are pushing it to the extreme. Um, it's totally great and awesome that you are so motivated to be uh, healthy and fit because I know these extremes they really come from a place inside of us of wanting to do well to be healthy and we're taking information that we find out there and trying to apply it to ourselves um, a million percent without giving ourselves a chance to sort of learn it and work through it um, and that's perfectly natural especially the first time we're learning something you know you're not supposed to have this all figured out you know we have to kind of embrace the flossomeness, right, which I've talked about before, which is your awesomeness and that, that is human, right? Remember that it's okay to not be perfect or get it all right the first time. Um, I'll tell you, I've, I've talked about this before, but um, back in my 20s, I was one of those people that worked out at least six days a week. And often I was doing two workouts a day. Um, I, was, I had um, two waitressing jobs. I was working like crazy. Um, and I, I was trying to pay off my student loans and just I was just really caught up in this feeling like I needed to look a certain way and I needed to um, eat super, super clean. And so I was eating a lot of salads and a lot of um, foods that I didn't really know about the nutrient density of foods, um, or I definitely wasn't applying it to myself then. And I was very uh, just focused on these extreme behaviors of uh, being healthy. But going to the extreme with your body actually can cause a detriment, like I was saying. And I ended up in my early 30s um, with a severe adrenal fatigue. And it took me six months to rebalance my hormones. Um, I couldn't recover from my workouts. I was exhausted all the time, but I couldn't sleep. Um, my, uh, my sex drive was extremely low. Um, I just had all these weird symptoms. And thank goodness, I went to see my naturopath and she helped me a lot figured out and you know, I had to do blood tests and all that to find the specific answers. And I'm not saying that just because you are over exercising, you're going to burn out your adrenals. But if you are over exercising, over training, um, going to such extremes with your body, um, it does make you more prone to injury. It does make you um, more prone to getting sick, to having a lowered um, immune system, a weakened immune 
system. And over time, that kind of behavior can lead to other chronic health problems. So just beware um, and keep an eye out for extreme behaviors that you may be practicing. I mean, there, there's the other extreme too, right? The extreme unhealthy, um, and I say unhealthy because I think it's unhealthy to be um, extreme in your habits around food in any way, right? So if you're excessively eating junk food all the time, I think that's a kind of unhealthy behavior because you're not really finding a balance with nutrient density and enjoying those treats. It's the same thing I feel about the other end of the spectrum where you're only eating healthy, 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 healthy all the time and you never give yourself a chance to like go out and or you know enjoy ice cream. And, and I, because I really think that those quote unquote junk foods are, they're not unhealthy, especially when they're added into the mix um, in a mindful way and you're able to enjoy them. I just wanna live a long, healthy life in a fit, healthy body and I wanna be my own personal best and I want that for you too. And we each have a different version of what that is and that's absolutely fine. I want you to define that for yourself. I just want you to beware of the extremes and I do see these comments um, on, my, on my social media and in the emails that I receive and I, um, I'm so glad that you asked me because I'm here for you and I want you to know that um, just your own awareness of the fact that you may be doing too much or thinking about all the things that you're doing is really, really good. And uh, it's important to take those rest days. It's important to renew your energy. Um, it's important to have those NSA days like I talk about here on the blog a lot. So I just, I just wanted to check in with you and um, maybe this isn't you. Maybe you found a great balance point, but maybe you know someone who it is. And uh, I'd love for you to share this video with them just to start the conversation to help them just bring awareness to it. Because you know, we're all on our own journey and there's nothing wrong with this experience. It's just an experience you're having to help you find your balance point and you can. So that's what I wanted to talk with you about today. Be sure to leave me a comment, join the conversation down below on the blog and let me know um, if you've experienced any extreme behaviors yourself or like I was saying earlier, know someone who is kind of in that place. Um, thank you again so much for tuning in and being part of this conversation and being here with me and spending this time with me. I'm Betty Rocker. You are so awesome and amazing. I'll talk to you again really soon. Bye. Thank you.